Hey everybody, it's Callflowerman here. I am bringing you another game of Halo from the Master Chief Collection. Um, this game I'm going to talk to you a little bit about positioning. As you can see when we start off here, I've got a rocket launcher. I'm up above everybody where they can't exactly see me. That's always great. Uh, when you have a rocket launcher or any explosive, you want to be above people. Um, just because it's a lot easier to shoot. Well, you want to shoot at their feet. You don't want to actually hit anybody with it. You want to shoot at their feet. As you can see, I switched that rocket launcher for a sniper. I didn't really mean to throw the rocket launcher that far down there. Um, so I'm kind of trying to protect it. I saw some guy who looked like he might be going for it. So I uh, dropped down on him. Wasn't quite able to kill him. Um, and so then I kind of back up because I need to find a good spot uh, to snipe people from. When you have a sniper in Halo, you need to be in good position right here. I can't really see much of anything. Uh, I'm right near this... Uh, the hill right there too so there's going to be a lot of people coming through as you can see you just saw that uh, warthog fly by my face but right here's a pretty good spot um, I can see over to that uh, parking garage where it looks like they're kind of spawning at get a couple kills with that sniper um, I can also see down that little hallway right there in case anybody comes it's a real narrow spot so if they drop down through there they're gonna have trouble not getting sniped by me um, so then I get a couple kills here, and then I just kind of sit around in this area. Uh, just always remember, uh, in Halo, it only takes four shots, especially in Halo 2, it takes four shots to kill you. Um, and they can do that pretty quickly, usually. Uh, so I just focus on making sure that I'm kind of hard to uh, kill. Uh, and then I put as much damage as I can on these people. Then it looks like somebody else got a sniper, took me down pretty quick. But now, coming on to this next life, uh, always remember to... Uh, my favorite thing, I guess, when vehicles are a great way to get around, um, it's I kind of screw over this guy in the back there. All I wanted to do was get up to the top, get to a better position quickly, and then I left the vehicle. But there's more people over there, so they'll probably grab it. And then if you notice here, I'm at the edge of the map. One thing that's great about being at the edge of the map is you know there's no one behind you. Um, so obviously there's no one who's going to spawn behind me, so I know they're all going to be coming from this one direction. And it looks like there's a ton on the, uh, on the hill right now, but they didn't really expect me to come from there, so I was able to get quite a few kills there before I uh, end up dying and so that's uh, all we're gonna do here of this first video let's go ahead and look at the next video alright so for the second video uh, it's another game of Halo 2 and this time I'm playing on Sanctuary uh, Sanctuary is a map where positioning is vital also uh, just as an aside always pick up the plasma pistol um, better known as the green gun. The green gun in Halo 2 is one of the most powerful weapons. Uh, as you can see, you can charge it up and it doesn't waste any of its ammo. Uh, that's not true in Halo 3 or Halo 4. It's only true in Halo 2. I guess it's probably true in Halo 1 as well, but I don't think the plasma pistol is as good in Halo 1. In Halo 2, the plasma pistol is beast. Um, but whenever you're playing Sanctuary, always try and make sure to pay attention to where the enemy team is spawning. One of the things I love about Halo's spawn system is that the spawns change over the map, so Right now they're spawning on this side, but since uh, we just pushed over here, if we kill the enemy team out, then they're going to spawn on the other side. And that's just the way it works, so you have to pay attention to spawns, and always remember wherever you are, the enemy team is less likely to spawn there. Um, as you can see, they still sort of spawn on this side. It looks like they came from uh, the rocks over here. But you have to make sure to pay attention where spawns are in Halo, and each uh, game sort of spawns differently. In Halo 1, uh, your teammates will spawn directly on you unless their spawn is blocked. I'm not going to go over that in this one. Uh, Halo 2, uh, it's they, your teammates will spawn near you, so if you see enemies in one area, you have to know that the they're going to keep spawning kind of over in that general area until you push them too much. It never, it tries not to spawn you close to enemies. Um, in Halo 2 and Halo 3. Uh, and in Halo 3, you can do something like throw a grenade somewhere and it won't have the enemies spawn there, so you can really kind of try and spawn trap people. As you can see, we're doing a 3v4, so my positioning has to be real good here. So, like right off this spawn, I looked to the same side that I got killed from last. Uh, the enemy saw me first, and so I backed out immediately. One thing that I see a lot of people do in Halo that's a terrible move is if you get shot first and you don't know where the team is, just you need to run away. A lot of people will try and challenge them. Uh, running away, it's the thing I'm best at. Halo. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily the best slayer, but I'm one of the best people at just running away and surviving, and that's a very overlooked skill. Um, being able to survive in Halo and in most games is far more useful than being able to get kills. And then if you ever do get a sniper on Sanctuary, you really need to pay attention to your positioning for two reasons. One, you don't have a whole lot of real good lines of sight, um, so you're very limited when you have the sniper where you can look and where you can snipe. And then... Uh, 
two and this goes into one as well because you're limited in your lines of sight and you can't see too far uh, enemies can BR you very well uh, no matter where they're at so if they start shooting you with a BR and you're sniping on sanctuary usually it's best just to get out of there and try again uh, so I'm paying attention to where the enemies are and I'm always trying to make sure that I don't put myself in a position where the full team can shoot at me I try to only engage one at a time I'm making sure especially when I'm in the center here that I keep them on one side or another and I don't uh, I don't just stand out in one area where everyone can see me um, if you if you make sure to do that uh, you're gonna have a lot more success than if you try and go out and just be ballsy and take care of everybody as once. Well. As you could see, there were two people on my screen there, but I still backed up to make sure there was only one who could see me. So I take it, take out his head, uh, and they still don't exactly know where I am. Uh, that's really the way you want to do it, especially on Sanctuary. Um, and if you're ever in the center here on Sanctuary, just remember, use all these doors and windows uh, more as... Uh, defense uh, so you know where they can't shoot you from that's that's more important than uh, where you can shoot just know that the enemy team can't shoot you from different areas so if you figure out where the enemy team is always make sure to uh, keep them from being able to shoot you but that's the end of these videos uh, like I said I'll have more Halo videos coming here in the future